I need to install these ball valves on my irrigation system so I can control the pressure to every bed. What I have here is a three quarter inch pipe that's coming to each bed from my house. It goes on the ground. I'm just gonna be putting these ball valves and then on them a three quarter inch to half inch reducer. And in that, a half inch PVC to half inch drip irrigation tubing adapter. So basically after I'm done, I can put this guy and from here I can run my drip irrigation. So let me show you. All right, so here are all my parts. I have my bowl valve, I have my three quarter inch to half inch reducer, which will go in here. And then I have my half inch, whoops, my half inch PVC to compression uh, or what is it called? Drip irrigation pipe that goes in here. And after we're done with this, we just stuff in some, uh, some drip irrigation tubing and uh, that's how we run our water. I do want to glue these together though because, uh, well, because I do. <laughs> because <laughs> the reason is I have these caps here pressure fitted and when I turn on the irrigation for the rest of my beds every once in a while this will pop off and then I'll get water all over the place. So I really don't want this to pop off because I'm going to be regulating pressure. There will be some um, pressure build up here at the valve. I don't want this to pop off and then flood the bed over here. So I am going to be gluing this and this and from here I will glue this as well I think. Well, I'll try at least and from here then it's going to be just pressure fit. This is my dill here that's sprouting so I'll have to disturb it a little bit because I need to cut some of this pipe but that's fine. For those of you who haven't done any PVC work what you need is um, this purple primer and the cement just regular cement for PVC these are usually sold in packs in just about any hardware store the, the two of them so all I'm gonna do is some of these valves they do have direction uh, this is a ball valve it shouldn't really matter it kind of closes the same way from both ends there is a little ball with a channel in it so when you turn it a quarter turn it's closed so I do not really care in which way this uh, is put so I'm just gonna place it like this and to do that as I said we take some of our purple primer and again everything is wet but that's usually fine with the primer you kind of uh, wipe the water away and you do the same thing inside your fitting. So they both look like this. It's okay if they dry out, if the primer dries out. It's not really the glue. The glue is the second part, which is this guy. And with this guy, you basically want a even coat. Um, and it will drip, most likely, but that's fine. I guess I'll remove it later from the soil so you basically just put a coat like this inside your uh, fitting and then you just slide it in sort of turn it and give it a little pressure maybe you know 20 30 seconds and you're done it will need probably several hours to reach full strength but it's fine I'm running I do have a pressure reducer at the beginning of the system <clears throat> so I don't really need the full strength of PVC but you know I'm, I'm probably not gonna turn it on for a while anyway um, just because I have to run the rest of the system um, on top of the raised beds so this is really ready as far as I'm concerned now these guys I do like to try and remove the sticker because you might get leaks from them and you will get a lot of residue on your plumbing and that's basically why you're using the purple primer so that you can clean all that gunk off and you get a nice seal and no leaks 
not really the end of the world if this leaks here. I mean, it's gonna give my deal a little bit more water <laughs> for the season, but I'd like to make it nice. So, same process really. And let me take this out. I actually don't know if this will glue here. Um, this will be interesting to find out. So, same process and you see all the gunk here this is the glue and as I keep going with this spongy little thing kind of washes or scrubs away and I have it all over my hand now so my hands will be pink use gloves yeah it's not a bad idea use gloves there we go this is pretty good so now this is clean I'll do the same thing inside my valve and then well if you don't use gloves this is what happened to your hand put a coat on this put a coat inside just like that and just drop it in and just hold it there for a few seconds because if you don't it tends to want to come out that's really it that's all it takes I'm actually gonna try and wash myself so I'll be right back give this a few seconds to dry anyway all right, so I'm gonna try and glue this piece now. I'm not really sure if that'll work because by the looks of it, it seems to be narrower at the bottom than here. So hopefully this top part will actually bond a little bit. But anyway, I guess we'll find out. And it's starting to rain again. Ooh. So I repeat the same thing, which will probably mean I'll be dirty again, but let's see if I can do this a little bit better this time. I'm just holding it, I'm not really pressing up that hard, just sort of giving it some weight on top. Uh, it looks like it's working. Cool. So, yeah, that's uh. That's it. I am going to be doing the same thing on all the other beds. I have four more to do. And when I'm done, I can use a little, a little bit of a pipe here, a drip irrigation pipe to connect to this elbow. And then from here, I can run my loops of drip irrigation inside the raised bed.